Hello grade 10 learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video, I will be discussing about factorial notation. The product of 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 can be written simply as 4 factorial. So, this exclamation point is read as factorial in mathematics. So, when you say factorial, that is denoted by n exclamation point or n factorial, it is defined for a natural number n as n factorial equals to n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2 ellipsis 2 times 1. So, this concept is important when we are talking about permutations and combinations or arrangement of the items. So, there are certain problems na ginagamit natin yung factorial notation. But first, we need to learn on how to evaluate a factorial notation for us to be able to solve such problems regarding permutations and combinations. So, I have here three examples that we are going to evaluate, so that's uh, easy. So, the first one is 3 factorial, the second one is 9 factorial, and the last one is 0 factorial. So, let's start with... 3 factorial. So, to simplify 3 factorial, so we can write it as 3 times 2 times 1. Again, for 3 factorial, we just multiply 3 times 2 times 1. So, therefore, 3 factorial is equal to 6. So, how about 9 factorial? So, how are we going to evaluate 9 factorial? So, simply 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, that is 9 factorial. And 9 factorial, so when we multiply 9 times 8, then the product will be multiplied to 7 and then the product will be multiplied to 6 and so on 9 factorial is 362,880 so how about 0 factorial so 0 factorial is equal to 1, so not 0. So, 0 factorial is defined to be 1 so that certain theorems and formulas can be stated concisely. Again, remember kapag 0 factorial, that is equal to 1, so not 0. So, same with 1 factorial, so that is 1. So, 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1 is 2. Then, 3 factorial is 6 and so on. We can link this factorial notation to get the answer by using scientific calculator. For example, so to get 9 factorial, so instead of uh, multiplying each number, so we can make use of scientific calculator. So how, how are we going to find 9 factorial? So we are going to press here 9. So, we are going to press 9 and then shift. Then, we need to look for the symbol x factorial. So, ito siya. Yung my x and then exclamation point. And then, equals. And then, magdi-display na yung kanyang answer na 362,880. So, the keys may vary across different calculator models. So, consult your calculator manual. What you need to look for is the key with x 
exclamation point. So, ito yung kailangan nyong hanapin. So, that denotes uh, factorial notation. So, therefore, uh, this can be generalized as follows. So, mag-create tayo ng generalization na for any natural numbers n that is n factorial equals to n times the quantity n minus 1 factorial. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, don't forget to share this video with others. So, give this video a thumbs up. And see you on our next video lesson. So, thank you for watching.